I boom. I hope everyone's good because today we probably have the biggest video to date on this channel. Today we are collaborating with the two kings, Mr. J Cactus and Mr. X10. First of all, I just want to thank the two boys for actually making an effort and helping me with this video. I appreciate it fully. And secondly, all their links are going to be in the description, even though most of you man probably know who they are. But still, go make sure you're following them. All right, so the plan for this video, I can't lie, I low-key have robbed the promotion. But I thought it was a fire idea and I wanted to try it myself. We're going to be doing the pass the beat challenge. So basically, it's going to start with me. I'm going to make some kind of melody, pass it to the next producer. He adds something, then pass it to the next producer, yada, yada, yada. It's simple. So I actually already have the melody that we're going to be using in today's video. I'm just going to talk everyone through it and then I'm going to send it to the next producer. But listen, if you're watching this video right now, I need you to click the like button. And also, if I do this again, let me know in the comments who you want to see on this. And if this is your first time watching me, make sure you hit the subscribe button, man. Our videos every Tuesday, every Friday at 6 p.m. All right, so the melody is as follows. First off, we are coming into vocalize in contact and we are doing a very basic chord progression. Without any effects, it sounds like this. <laughs> But I have, in fact, put some half time on it. And in the half time, I've actually kind of adjusted the settings a little bit. I've brought the effects to 500 milliseconds. I've brought the mix to 81%. And we also have an EQ cutting at the lows. This part of the halftime kind of adds a little bit of a swing to it. And then for the second part of the melody, we are coming into Clara vocals. And we are laying down vocals as follows. <laughs> We then put some reverb on the vocals, and then we also put an EQ like this, and all together it sounds like this. See, I didn't really want to add too much to it because obviously I know that people still have to add things after me. So I'm going to send it to the next producer. All right, so listen, there's been a bit of a bump in this video. I know it's only the beginning of the video, but listen, there was meant to be a fourth producer in this video, but he told me that he doesn't have time to record his part, even though there's been over like a month for him to record like a 10 minute segment. But the problem is he already originally committed to this video. He added on to this loop and he already passed it on. So then Jay got it. He added on even more and X10 got it and then he finished it. So everyone already added all these parts and then the producer said, no, sorry, I can't film. But listen, the video must go on. I do apologize apologize but literally it's out of my control there's nothing i can do so i had passed the beat to him and this is what he added all right now so this version has been sent to jay so let's go see what he cooked up with. all right so i know that slippery haze works on this loop so far and then i need to pass it to x10 so i think i'm gonna save the drums for him but i'll play it back and then see what i can add or change Hmm, this sounds cold i love anything that has those japanese vibes cold in there sounds crazy so yeah, I'm going to mute the bass and then just render this version out. So straight away, let's just try reverse it. That just sounds hard reversed. All right, so I'm going to chop this up. I'll just do it by bars. And instead of just flipping it and keeping the same progression, I'm going to try to find something different. So maybe I could go like this. Yeah, I think that'll sound hard. And then let's try to pitch this whole thing up. Go down. Kind of like it there. All right, so I'm feeling that so far, but I think it needs a few more layers. So I'm thinking about adding some vocals and uh, maybe something else, but we'll see. It's sounding mad. You know what? Before I do any more processing to that vocal, I'm going to render it out and see if I can chop it up a bit. So let's try and mess with this. Let's try reversing it and then maybe we could take a different part. Could even start with that. And then take one of these parts. So I'm going to chop these up as well. And let's try this section here. But if they were both on bleeding, so there's no clicks. Yeah, I think that's sounding hard, you know. Keep the mix quite high for this one. And I'm just adding a little bit of shaper box. Just to add a bit of movement. Alright, cool. And I want to get this sounding a little bit darker. So I'm going to add this piano from Contact. But all I'm going to do is add the bass. 
And then I'm going to double the bass notes up. Cut some lows out though, just to save him some room for the eight weight. All right, and then just for some variation, I'm going to have another section without the vocals, but with a violin. So I'm going to take this, and then in this section, I'll add a violin pattern. I actually like the sound of this one better. Yeah, this one sounds hard. All right, and I think the last thing that I want to add is just a pad in vocalize. And this is just to create more of a dark atmosphere. And I'm just going to hold the root note. So it kind of swells into it. All right, I think it sounded crazy so far, but I want to get that sub bass back in. But I think it's just going to be easier to add my own just because I've chopped it up so much. All right, so I've just separated them real quick, but this is going to be the full loop. Sounding mad. Atmosphere in this one's just crazy. So yeah, that's going to be it from my side. I'm going to pass it over to my guy X10 and I already know he's going to do a madness on it. All right, cool guys. So Jay Cactus, he just swung me the beat from this uh, past the beat challenge. I've just stemmed the beat out. So this is what we've got so far. Five. Right, so we're just gonna get a crack and we're gonna add in some drums now. I'm using sounds from Slippery Haze's kit. So we're gonna add in a simple hi-hat pattern. I take a couple out here and there just to give it a bit more bounce and just change up velocities a little bit. I'm just going to copy and paste that over to this hi-hat here. I'm going to add a couple more notes as well just to give it a bit more bounce. I'm going to meet the sub bass and I'm going to start doing the, the 808s. This is the Hawaii 808 from some Slippery Hazes kit because it's the hardest fucking kit out. You lot should go on cop up. slides at the end just some variation I'm just gonna put it all back down an octave yeah I'll select all these just put them on a mix of channels who keeps texting me man a little stereo shape on me right? some bounce now it's getting a bit of groove going on you know what I'm saying I'm 
just gonna do some padding on my hi hats just to keep it more interesting. Keep some more stuff going on, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna. I'm gonna add this other snare from Sifri's kit just for a little bit of percussion in the middle. Yeah. And we're also gonna have a variation view where I think it sound hard, so we're gonna add this one little spins. Gotta turn that right up, man, cut it off, and we're just gonna follow the same area pattern with them just so bounce here. Remember, hey, wait, please. Instead of having a main snare, I want to have a rim shot instead. So this is what it would sound like. Mmm, that's nasty. Separate all the different tracks, and we're gonna get to a little spot of arranging. Cool. We'll start off, we're just gonna have the sub bass. Gonna take up the violin, gonna find the vocal. I'm right, actually so just gonna put it up by 12 just for a little bit of variation. I'm gonna go a little bit crazy with the eight weights at the end of this one. I'm gonna add some more like eight weight variation just in the bridge here to keep it more interesting. I'm actually gonna take this cheeky um, N of eight bars from one of Slippery's kids, put it here. Okay. No guys, that is the beat, we finished, this is the full beat, I'll play it, shout out to all the guys involved in this, shout out for getting me involved, and yeah, hope you enjoy the beat, here you go. Alright, we're gonna listen to the finished beat together, X10 literally just slid me the FLP, so we're gonna listen to it, I don't, I'm, I'm eager to hear it. I literally have not clicked play yet, I see a lot of my drums from my drum kits in here, I didn't tell nobody to use my drums, I'm not even joking, but alright, let's press play. Ew. Bro, all right, first of all, this does not even sound like the same melody. Holy shit. <laughs> okay, we got some new vocals in. All right. Oh, yeah, fuck whatever that. Like the bongo thing, that bongo sounds cold. Okay, out yeah, of spins. Oh, this is sounding shelly. <laughs> Yo, from what this started off as, this has changed hella. This is crazy. I presume it was Jay that flipped this melody. Jay, big up yourself. You did a madness with the melody. And the drums are slapping as always. You know I'm a fan of the Zay808 or the Spins808 on drill. So listen, I feel like I might need to redeem myself and do this again because I feel like the melody I made at the very start was pretty. You know what I'm saying? I feel like the other two man absolutely spun me on this thing. So listen, I need to redeem myself. Let me know in the comments who you want to see on the next one. And I have an idea that we might try to get an artist involved as well. If you haven't liked the video by now, what are you doing? And if you haven't checked out the two guys, they're in the description. Go follow them on everything. And also, if you ain't subscribed, you already know. Hit the subscribe button. Listen, I appreciate you for watching. Shout out to J Cactus. Shout out to X10. Two legends, man. Run me up on Twitch and Instagram because they're the only two things I care about. I'm out. Galaxy Lara. <laughs>